So, you want to make this? Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this from scratch, step by step. You're going to need Minimator and CapCut to make exactly what I'm making. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, it blows now. No, but like, it actually does, go check, trust me. But anyway, let's get into the tutorial. So the first step, you want to head over to Minimator, where we're going to make the sword animation. Just click new project and title it, I know, sword animation. Create the project, you want to go over to character part, and you, you can choose your skin if you want, and you don't want to choose the right arm, or left arm, it doesn't really matter which. Click create, just place it down, and then just drag it up. We have this, we're going to rotate it so it's facing up. And then we're going to get into a camera angle. So like this, I kind of put out a rotation because it looks nice. But now we're going to get the sword, so I go over to the crafting table again, item, and I'm going to use a diamond sword, but you can use like whatever you want. Yay. I'm just going to scale it down again. So this is my final bit, this is how I want it to like, when it say comes down from the top of the screen. So I'm going to go around 20 to 25 frames, so uh, from the start. And you just want to set a keyframe where you want it to end. And then at the beginning I'm just going to scale the sword up and the same for the hand. So if I watch it back now, it is like very just like linear and that's because it is. So I'm going to highlight the, the Steve arm. I'm going to highlight both the top keyframes, go to keyframe settings and I'm going to change the transition to back. This one here on ease in and out. I'm going to click it. It just gives it a nice like bopping effect. And I'm actually going to make it a, just a second and then for the source I'm going to highlight it again and I'm, this time instead of it being back I'm going to make it uh, printed. So if I watch this back like it looks quite nice. So once it's got to this part here, we're going to make it like come down and here. So we're going to go five keyframes forward and set another pair by double clicking so it just stays the same. Then we're going to go around to 45 and we're just going to swing like that. So I go it like this and I pay it back, it kind of looks like that. But this time I'm going to highlight the item keyframes and set it to the same as the hand is going to be back so as a result it should look like this and for extra detail you don't have to do this you can add more hitting so i'm going to make it come back up by copying those keyframes and setting it to like there and then going there so if you watch it back now it's kind of like that but i'm going to change the keyframes from it coming back up so we got this like really nice animation. You can like change it in like all ways you want, like where it starts, where it finishes, the speed, basically anything. But now we're gonna make it so that we can use it in CapCut. So go over to your workbench and use and search for shape. Set it to surface, create. So click on it, uh, click combine scale and just enlarge it a lot and then just drag it down a bit. Go to project properties. Turn off clouds in the ground and also fog and wind and then change the colour to green. But if your sword or like your skin is green then I suggest changing it to something like blue or purple or pink. There's any colour which isn't like that. Once you're done you want to click render, render animation. Choose um, FHD 1080p, 90, like 1920 by 1080 which is a good one for YouTube. You can set the frame rate to 30, but 60 is probably the best for the cleanest like, animation. You want to uh, turn off include audio, and make sure if you ha make sure you have the advanced version, because otherwise you'll have a watermark which you don't really want. So high quality rendering, and then click save. Okay, don't click off. Trust me. If you're watching this video, then I guarantee this will interest you. Because this is today's sponsor, Creator Coaster. Now you may be wondering what is Creator Coaster and why I should join. Well, I'm here to answer just that. Creator Coaster is an advanced Discord server which provides tons of free resources for videos and thumbnails such as transitions, overlays, animations, green screens, and more. Not only that, but three quarters of the assets I use in my videos, yes, the one that you're watching right now, are actually from Creator Coaster, so you can edit just like me. So, what are you waiting for? 
Join CreatorCoaster today using the link below or just use discord.gg slash creatorcoaster to join. Thank you CreatorCoaster for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, let's continue with the tutorial. So now you want to come over to CapCut, which I'm in, and you want to import all the stuff that, you're, that you want to use. In my case, I'm going to use this character and the sword animation. And I'm also going to use this spruce background. So I'm going to put this on first for my like, actual background. And then I'm going to put my character on top of that. So then you want to come down and place your sword animation on top of that. But the first thing you want to do is get rid of this green screen. So I'm just going to come to a frame where I can see it. Get cut out. Form a key. And then pick the green and just do the strength. And as you see if it does something like that. Then you want to put it down a bit. So once you've got it and it looks like a bit okay, I know there's like bits on here, but it looks fine. I'm gonna resize all the stuff that I need to. So I'm gonna resize my character like here. And I'm gonna move this entire thing over to here until when I hit down, it hits the character like that. I'm gonna go into the frame when the sword hits my character, which is going to be there. And I'm gonna make a split here, just so I know. So we're gonna come to the first keyframe. And I'm gonna click basic, position and size. And I'm gonna go to the, the end. And just like change it until it looks like he's got hit. So in my case, I'm gonna change the rotation. So just like that, so it, it looks like he got hit. But instead, I'm gonna click on this, right click, show keyframe animation. And I'm gonna zoom in a bit. And for all the things which you change, so if you change it like going across and up, you want to change these two. And if you rotate it like me, you want to change all three of these by clicking the graphs. I didn't change the scale, so I should be fine. So I'm going to click auto curve, auto curve again, and just drag it to the end. Same for that. Until it creates this kind of thing in the middle here. And then I'm going to do the same for the rotation, which I changed. Just make sure you change all the ones that you like moved it, otherwise it's going to look really weird. And then you can click hide keyframe animation, watch it back. I'm actually going to change it so it kind of sinks in. So then it should look something like this, which looks kind of cool. And then I'm going to go to, I'm going to do something which not many people do, but it's just going to give that, that like really nice effect. I want to go over to adjustment. So you want to go to the middle-ish, it doesn't really matter where it is. But you want to change the temperature to warm, set a keyframe, change the hue all the way to max, and save for the saturation. Then you want to go to the first part, and then just change all of those to normal again. And then save for the end keyframe, just like that. So it should look something like this. And then a thing which I normally do a lot is you want to add like the Minecraft hair effect, like that. I'm just going to drag and drop it onto the clip and make it so that once it collides just to there that I'm going to put it at the beginning. So it looks like he actually got hit and then I'm just going to repeat this lots and lots of times again but every time the sword comes down like that so I'll speed run up. 